Hello everybody, welcome back to another review. Today I will be reviewing the Mattel Disney Pixar Storytellers 3 inch line action figures from Wally -E and Up. I just got these from Target pretty recently. They were available online, there's only a couple in stock. They're out of stock now. I think it might depend on like where your region is in the country if they're available online or not. Unless these were available a couple of weeks ago, so I did pick them up online. I'm very excited to get into them. So for the Wally -E 3 pack, we have Eve, Wally, -E, and Mo. And for the Up 3 pack, we have Doug, Carl, and Russell. I'm really excited to get into these. So take a look at the package. The Wally -E package is a like a brighter yellow. You can see like some sort of like dirt texture. Also, really just darker yellow. Wally -E logo, Storyteller logo, which is a nice logo of the sort of the Pixar ball using the O there. Mattel barcode. Inside, you can just see a Wally -E logo. On the back, you can see some of the other available packages, which include Coco and Monsters, Inc. There's also an Elemental pack as well. The Wally -E logo again on this side. Here's the bottom for anyone interested. Up is really the same thing. It's, uh, this one's more for like a beige. It doesn't have the dirt detailing, although it does look to have some sort of detailing to kind of make it look like a piece of paper. You can see the Up logo there and on the side as well. Back of the package shows also shows the Wally -E three pack as being available, as well as the Monsters Inc. and Coca ones. Behind the characters, there is some nice detail as well. So over here, like for example, you can see Wally -E and Eve right here. This is kind of using a very similar type of package that they used on the seven inch line. Not exactly the same. Like they actually have renders behind them. Whereas on the Pixar theme packaging that they used to use, it was just like a solid color. And then behind there is like a set render of the Axiom. Up uses the same thing, Carl and Russell. Same style of packaging. Well, this time it uses like a light blue sky instead of the stars. And you can see a render of the Up house taking off behind it. All right, so let's get into this and open them up. Now we have everything out of the package. They look great. Well, Russell seems to be having some issues standing right off the bat. That helps. To start off, I will start off with the up characters. So we have Russell. He looks great. He's pretty small. Maybe only looks to be like two inches tall, maybe. His hat is removable. His feet can move a little bit like that, although not that much. His hands can move as well. They look to be on a ball joint. So the three inch figures that they're doing now, they're really not as good as the seven inch figures, quite frankly. They have a, they're obviously much smaller. They also have a lot more limited mobility and areas where they can move. So to compare, here is the seven inch figure from the Features Favorite series. Obviously, he is much, 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 much bigger. They did change the expression a bit. So, like, here he's smiling in the features of one. Now, in the three-inch one, he appears... They Both of them are having issues standing, unfortunately. Whereas in the... It seems like neither of them really want to stand right now. Whereas this one, he is... Like, uh, kind of like yelling. You can see his tongue and teeth, but you can't see his tongue in this one. The hair does seem to just be like a scaled out version of the same hairline, though. It's not really anything different there. His hair is textured on both, which is good. You can see all the different badges around here. Obviously, in here, they're much smaller. The feature favorites for us also came with a bunch of different accessories, like a chocolate bar and a backpack that aren't included with the three-inch one. Only thing that they both included was the hat. Moving on next to Doug. Doug looks great. You can see, there is a nice texturing for the fur. Obviously, since it's plastic, it's a bit hard, but it's still nice to have the texture for the fur. You can rotate the tail like that. He is... His hind legs can go move like that. So you can do like running poses. His front feet can move a little bit, but like not really that much, like kind of barely. He 
kind of doing like a running pose like that. Comparing them to the interactable seven inch ones since they didn't do a normal seven inch one. The interactables one also include the hero dog battle from the one of the dog days episodes. This one does not include anything like that. It does seem that with Doug, they actually used the exact same expression, really just kind of scaled him down. Posability does seem to be the same, although on the 7-inch one, his front feet can move a lot more than they can on the 3-inch scale one. And uh, his head can do 360. I did not think to try to move his head before. Let me see if Russell's head can move. I forgot to check that. Yeah, so Russell's head can also move 360 degrees. Sorry, I completely forgot to check that before. Moving up to Carl, he's the only one from the Yacht Pack we don't have anyone who we don't have a seven inch one to compare it to. So his glasses can be removed. Also, a the cane can also be removed as well. You can see the four balls in here. The balls cannot be removed though. He has, uh, his feet can move back and forth like that. Not that much. You can't really do an accurate walk cycle with it, though. Hands can move like that. There is a joint here, which allows you to move his hand like that. His head can move, uh, interestingly like that. It's like, kind of like a really steep angle if you want to have it go, like, look behind. This is a nice figure though. I would probably say that Carl is actually my favorite of the three just because the other two, I mean, Russell is very limited compared to his seven inch counterpart and Doug is literally just a scaled down version of the seven inch counterpart. Whereas Carl is a bit original on his own. It would have been nice to have a seven inch Carl though. That would have been awesome. Fortunately, that's not happened because Mattel isn't really doing seven inch figures anymore for whatever reason. Next up we have Wally. Wally's treads cannot actually move. It, it, he has plastic tires in the bottom, two in each tread. His arms can move out like that. You can also turn that around. Other than that, he doesn't really seem to have any movement. And let's just say this is extremely disappointing, and I believe it's going to end up being the same for Eve as well, because they literally just took the seven inch ones and put them in a three pack and added them like, literally, the one on the right, this one, this is from the 7-inch 2-pack with Eve, they are literally the exact same. So I guess it makes sense when you have a 2-pack with this in the 7-inch scale, to, they're going to be scaled in half and 3 inches, approximately half of 7 inches. But still, they're literally the exact same. Like, in terms of features, in terms of design, they are completely identical. So basically, you can get a, you can spend the 15 bucks that this costs to get a Mo that is in scale with the seven inch Wally and Eve because Mo they never did in the seven inch scale. So literally these were just already in the three inch scale when they made them in the seven inch scale, which is dumb. It would have been nice if they had been bigger so that they could actually be in the seven inch scale and then, and then scaled them down in half for this. So that was nonetheless extremely disappointing. Not to mention the fact that Wally just, it would have been nice if they had more detail and like, like dirt in here. It just seems like very, very plain, very disappointing release. Eve, I'm thinking is going to be the same thing. So you can pull, so like she comes with a base and she obviously can't stand on her own. You can pull her, move her head around 360 degrees. Her arms can come out like that. You just kind of have to get your fingernail in there a little bit and then you could take it out. She's also very plain and white, but that is expected from the movie, unlike with Wally. So Wally, I think, is too clean. Eve, I think, design white is perfect with the simplicity and the amount of detail they gave her and the color. You can see nice detail on the eyes to show, like, the electric bars, although the eyes are, unfortunately, a sticker. And it looks like my sticker is actually not even put on that well. It's kind of a little bit on an angle and isn't in there that great. So here is the 7-inch Eve, 7-inch in air quotes. And it looks like my concerns are right in that this is the exact same Eve. I can still move like that a bit. It looks like the 7-inch scale Eve might be a tiny bit taller, possibly. 
Actually, no, it's not. That's just the angle that the three inch one was on. I actually never even realized you can angle these like that. That's good to know. But nonetheless, these do look to be also be identical. So nonetheless, that is very disappointing with these three inch scales. So they literally just made Doug scale down. Wally and Eve are just copy and pasted from the seven inch scales. That's disappointing. So once again, with like with that, we have one brand new character. We have no seven inch counterpart to it. That would be Mo, who also comes with the sand and sand of his own. He's a little bit up in the air. I feel like based on the movie, he's a little bit too high. I would have been better if maybe they put like a like a small white plastic piece beneath there to actually make him stand more accurately to the movie. You can also like move him in the movie because this doesn't look realistic. You can see the siren up here. It would have been nice if they had put like some features, and Mo has like fortunately no features. If they had like the siren be able to go up and down. You cannot really turn his head. It moves like a tiny bit up and down. These arms can move a really, really small amounts up and down. But Mo has pretty much no features. So nonetheless, these three packs were quite disappointing. The Elemental one is honestly the... I mean, I've, gotten, I've also had the Coco and Monsters Inc. and Elemental ones. The Coco one has a couple of new characters, which was great. So I would recommend that for those. The elemental one, obviously get that because that doesn't even have any 7-inch figures and the three in there were great. But, I mean, this one and Wally and Up and probably Monsters Inc. Ballas, they don't even bother to have the 7-inch figures because they are just, a lot of them are just scaled down, missing features compared to the 7 inches. They obviously don't look as good. They don't have as many features. There are many cases that we've seen with, like, Doug, they're literally just scaled down and the same thing. In the worst case scenario, with Wally and... Eve, they're literally just copy and pasted from the 7 inch, which is lame and lazy and cheap. But you don't have the 7 inch ones. I I say they are decent. I don't think there's really that much play feature with them, but you have kids because these are so small that there's virtually no features that they could really put into them for the most part. And like the features that they do have are quite limited. But they would I think they do do look nice as display figures on a display, so let me know in the comment section below if you'll be picking up either the up or the if you'll be picking up the upper wally uh storytellers three packs i have no idea where they're available because i pre-ordered them from amazon a while ago amazon canceled my order because they apparently never got it in stock so but i did get lucky and find it at target so let me know if you've been able to find it and if you have if you picked it up or if you plan on picking it up and you find it and what do you think and which of these characters is your favorite uh, see you soon for another video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye now.